Yeah, you got the vapor kit here. A while back, I was showing you how I was making hydrogen with a rectifier. Well, I've been working on this, my power plant, as I call it, to produce hydrogen so I can compress it into a pressurized tank to push into my intake of my car or a lawnmower, whatever. And I'm going to show you something first. I've got a uh, board right here. It's a three bridge rectifier, but all I'm working on now, running on, is one rectifier. Just one. And over here, I've been running for approximately half an hour. And right here, if I can show you good enough, is a 13 plate, one negative in the center, two positives on the outside, and five neutrals on each side. Now, like I said, I was running it for about a half an hour, and the water temperature inside It gets up to about 100, 100 degrees, 105 tops. So it's not steaming when you see something coming out of this thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to fire it up. What's going on is I got 110 or 120 volts going in to the rectifier and 118 coming out as DC going to the plates. Now as this thing starts producing hydrogen, you'll start seeing the fumes coming out of this thing like crazy. It's kind of hard to see with the light. There she goes. I'm running a 1500 watt heating element for my resistor. And like I said, it's been running for a half an hour. Now what this does is it just puts a load on to the rectifier. Because if I try and run a straight 120 volts, she'll run wide open and she'll burn up. So you got to have a load. So I'm running 1500 watts and I'm hitting approximately 5 amps. The water temperature is still staying at between 106, 109, but this thing puts out an ungodly amount of fumes, and that's hydrogen. I'd light it off, but I, uh, it wouldn't be advisable, because this thing probably sounded like a Civil War cannon going off. But what I will do, is I come over here, and I hook my cap up to it, and I'll run this through a vacuum pump, oilless vacuum pump. I recirculate the gas, and as it builds up pressure, it'll come out this thing, and come over to here, and fill that tank up about 50 pounds but the good thing about this is I don't need battery no more I used to use a battery 12 volts but that's extinct this is the way to go if you want to make hydrogen use a rectifier 
110 volts or 120. With me running at almost 45 minutes now, I'm still hitting 5 amps. Like I said, this is my load right here. And that just keeps the element cool. It'll get no hotter than 175. And that's it. Just wanted to show you what you can do with a rectifier. And that's just with one bridge. If you had three of these going, no telling what you could do. Keep you posted on it. Talk to you later. Vapor Kid. See ya.